Welcome back drone fans to another exciting episode of Jamdong Drones. Today we're going to be looking at the DJI Fly App as well as learning a lot of tricks as it relates to video editing. If you're new to the world of video editing or if you're new to the world of droning, stick around drone fans because there's plenty left to learn about this fantastic drone, the DJI Mini 2. As a drone pilot, it's very neat that the DJI Fly App comes with features that we can use for video editing. So we'll start by going down to the bottom left here. We've got three options, but we're going to be going with the album option. So what I did was I went out the other day and I went to this neat river and I took about um, 10 clips of that river so we're going to be using these 10 clips to create a video montage and there you see me going through the album so the DJI fly up allows us to explore the internal memory of our device so if you're using a cell phone or a tablet you can explore the internal memory of your device so now I'm going to just hit the drop down arrow that's to the middle to the top here besides saved and that will give me access to my internal memory now I've gone ahead and I have grouped all the clips that we're going to be using for this video and I've called it Project 1. In case you're wondering, if you'd like to find the files or the videos that your DJI Fly app has downloaded, it can be found easily by going to your internal memory, moving to your DCIM folder, and then after that you want to go to DJI album, which is right to the upper right here. And these are the projects that I have started that I finished and these are the videos that I would have taken so far with this app so that's how you are able to find your folder with all your videos once you've done that then of course you can create a new folder move the videos to that folder and then everything should be a-okay moving forward from the app there it is project one so I found it project one by folder and I'm gonna tap on that so guys these are the 10 clips that we're going to be kind of you know putting in order and making it look all nice we're going to be using the app for that feature so we've got 10 clips here and what we're going to be doing first is we're going to be hitting this create button that is way down to the bottom right now when i hit create it takes me to this screen now what we're seeing here is that the dji fly app has a couple inbuilt templates that we can use so if you want to stitch a couple of videos together in a very short time you can always use one of these features that i'm scrolling on and right now we are under the templates sub menu so you'll notice that um, it's loading and for this purpose you're going to need internet connection so i'm just gonna tap that and you should see it connecting in a while there it is so now we can tap on each of these for Maybe an example, so I'm just going to play this one. This is the first one. So this one, you need four yeah, shots. So the transitions that are part of this first option, you'd be able to see all of that. So we're not going for any of these templates. We're going to be doing this from scratch. So we're going over to Pro. And when we tap on Pro, it brings us back to the section here where we can access the memory so we're going to tap the drop down arrow and i'm going to scroll all the way back down until i see project one there it is project one and then here we have our 10 clips that we were talking about before and now at the upper right we have an add button so on each of these clips these little white boxes allows us to add the clips that we want and certainly in the order that we want them so it doesn't really matter at this point we're just adding the clips to our timeline when we go through each of the clips we'll decide which one is first second and third and so on based on the look and feel of the clip so it just makes sense when you're going to a location to take videos with a picture or a story in mind in terms of what you want to tell with these um, videos so you know it's just going to the river having a fun time seeing the different angles of the river and all that so i think i've touched ten, nine clips and the 10th clip is at the top here so i'm just gonna click that we got 10 clips 
and then we hit that add button so notice that it is transcoding which means that it's basically moving all our 10 clips to what is known as a timeline and the timeline will show basically the layout or the order in which the videos will come and you know other neat stuff so we're just allowing that to transcode all right guys so check this out this is the video editing section of the dji fly up and look how many options we have here so if i swipe across on my screen here you'll see that the 10 clips that we have selected are now lined up on our timeline and we call it a timeline of course because these clips are arranged in a line and we have the times or the time frames above each of these blocks of clips so we're now in the video editing section so the first thing you want to do is organize our clips now the way in which i go about doing it is i normally just allow it to play as is and basically um i go with how the clips feel in order to create a starting point a middle point and an ending point so let me just hit this play button so that you guys can have a look at what some of these clips look like so that's all 10 clips there so the first thing we're going to be doing is organizing our clips all right so we're organizing well the, the second thing we're going to be doing is organizing our clips because the first thing that we would normally do is to collect that clip all right so what we're going to be doing now is kind of like finding the, the right clip to introduce this place so I'm just swiping through. Normally, um, a shot, uh, wide, kind of cinematic shot going uh, towards is a nice opening move. And if we can do a speed ramp, that would be great as well. Um, so this first shot here, this, this is the shot that I'm thinking of, guys, for using as our first clip. So I'm just going to hold down on this clip. And I'm going to drag it all the way across. I'm holding down on the clip. I haven't let go. And then I'm just going to put it right in front there. So that's how we move clip around, guys. We hold down on the clips and we're able to drag it. So that's the first clip. So the first shot will show the drone coming down. And then the next clip, we can 
get a little bit creative so now we have a pan up shot for that one what do you guys think i think you can go with that one for the second one so if a pan up followed by this pan around shot okay and because there are so much variety in in the moves it makes stitching the clip a whole lot easier so here we have these two raft shots lined up beside each other i think that that works in the order that it is some of these clips might need to be trimmed though because it's a bit long but that's fine so we actually have a couple raft shots lined up that's fine going across this one going up like a rocket shot panning down i'm thinking of using uh, this shot as a finisher as a closer you'd notice that whenever you're watching movies for example you'll always or most more often than not see the camera zoom out from a particular location to give closure or release um in during the film or at the ending of the film so we can always employ that strategy and of course we have this ending here so we can always use this one or this one as our closer so now that we're finished organizing our 10 clips we need to trim the clip down and what do i mean by trim well let's take a closer look at the options down here below this scissor icon that looks like a, well looks like a scissor it says cut so wherever we move the clip on the timeline this white line will represent the cutting point where we want to, the clip to end so if we want it to come down to maybe here for a bit and then we hit cut then you'll see that the clip is now cut into two parts and this part that is selected with that red line going around we can always delete it by hitting the delete button towards the bottom so we're hitting that delete button and now the clip is gone so just gonna take a look at that and don't worry guys it's it's a trial and error process so if the clip is too long you can always go back to trimming it so this clip is a bit too long i think it would do well if we removed a bit of the first section so i'm just gonna cut that and delete that so now we end up with this bit here Okay, so we're trying to give it each of them anywhere between four to five seconds. Okay. So as we're moving from clip to clip, we see that this clip is a bit long as well. Let me just let, let, let's just watch to see. This clip is very nice. And there's that leaf that falls right in the camera view at the end. I think we can. Uh, cut that by a little bit so to do that you're going to do a pinch out function with your two fingers on the screen so i'm pinching out to make the clip extend on the timeline and there i can have a more precise positioning of the white line to cut this clip so i'm going to cut it about there and i'm going to go over here and i'm going to delete this clip this part of it all right so let's see if the okay so we we, we got the part when the cotton was falling from the tree all right, so let's have a look at that. Perfect. Okay. And then we have our raft shot. All right. Now, if you took, if we take a look at this shot right here, guys, you notice that it takes a while to start. So that's fine. We can cut it right here just before it kicks off just before it moves we can bring it to this point here and cut and then i'm going to click on the beginning part of the clip and i click delete and then we see that it's starting while it's moving we can make this clip a bit short just to add some variety so we're going to click cut there and if we pinch in we can bring the clips a little bit narrow and we can just remove that entire bit there so this is the reason why we call it trimming guys it's basically kind of you know reducing 
the amount of unnecessary um, time that we're using for this so let me just have a look at this so it's moving past the raft this shot is moving um, past the raft in a backwards way so it's pulling out yeah I think we can also do some trimming to this as well let's cut this a little bit let's let's allow this clip to start a little bit sooner so we're gonna cut it right there and we're gonna get rid of all this negative time that really not much is happening so you want to keep the clips as exciting and as short and spicy as possible there it is I think we can do something else with this shot right here we're going to do what is known as a speed ramp so we're going to start the first bit um, quick or fast and we're going to allow the ending bit to be slow and um, dramatic so I'm gonna take my white line to roughly near the ending of the clip a couple seconds away from the ending and I'm gonna click cut and I'm gonna tap on the first part of the clip and then I'm gonna hit speed the speed option below allows us to control the speed at which our clips play out so we said that we wanted our, our clip to go much faster and the good thing about this app is that when you're doing the adjustments you actually get a sample to look at so as I'm moving the time you'll see that the um, sample is showing at the top there and I like this speed right here 3.75 times so I'm gonna click apply we do not want to apply this to all just to the clip that we're talking about here so you don't want to touch that apply to all button I'm gonna hit that and notice that the clip has shortened in terms of duration on the timeline this is because it is now playing at a faster rate so it takes up less time on the timeline and, and quite interestingly if you do it slowly or if you make the clip slowly it takes more time on the timeline so let's have a sample let's have a look at what this looks like so there it is ramping up and then slowing down so let's have a look at that again wow that looks cool and then the final shot will be this with the sun passing over okay now that we're finished trimming the footage we have another step this other step involves adding music to the footage now typically you want to make sure that the music that you're selecting is in some way relating to the footage that you're watching that is it connects or it it it, it puts everything brings everything together so at the bottom here we have music we're going to tap on music to the lower bottom here and then the cool thing about dji flap is that it comes with some um default options that we can always use now if you want to add music it says tap to add music here so i'm going to tap to add and the music library that's the dji music library will pop up and there is quite a wide selection here guys for us to choose from each of them are categorized based on genre so we've got epic we've got soothing we've got uplifting we've got cheerful we've got funky pop powerful i was thinking um epic right Just to give that that kind of feeling so let's go through some of these samples to see which one would be best so you tap on it to hear the sample listen to the other one i'm feeling this one guys what do you think i'm definitely feeling this one we can listen to the others. Ooh, this one sounds good too. It's very cinematic. I like, I like the way it sounds. Okay, so we're using this one. And... As you see 
on our timeline the song has now been added right below our video clips so we have two options we can always choose between our video and our music clip by tapping on it and this is the way things are arranged on the timeline they are arranged in stacks or layers so for each item that i add whether it's picture, image, sound, it's just going to keep stacking up and going down. And we select each layer by tapping. Okay, so this is kind of cool. So let's have a look at what it looks like with the song added. Alright guys, so that looks pretty awesome so far. So we have managed to arrange the clips, we've managed to add our music and it's looking real nice so far. It's looking really nice so far, so let us continue. So I'm just swiping to go to the beginning of the timeline here. If you notice on the music, in the music um, that we added, the lines don't start until a couple seconds down in the song. I wanted it to start a little bit closer to the beginning of the clip so what I'm going to do is I'm going to be I want to cut this part of it so I'm gonna hit clip and what that means is it allows me to choose where to begin so I'm just gonna clip that so I basically slid the the uh, song backwards so that it would start a bit sooner there it is. so when we begin now it begins with the music now as we go on we can explore some more features we've got the filter feature right here which is at the bottom if i hit that it just gives us some preloaded, you know color grading templates to work from so if your image is not as your well as bright as you'd want it or as not as sharp as you'd want it then you can explore some of these options and there you see me toying with some of these now I don't normally use this part of the app for color grading I normally use a different app for that purpose but if this strikes your fancy of course you can always give it a try so I'm just gonna hit X because I don't want to select any of that and there's just one thing that is remaining now the title of our video so if we want to add text to the timeline all we have to do is hit on the text button here and you'll see that we have an add button to the left in the corner there so i'm going to hit add and whatever text we want to put in we can put in so let's call this the river cinematic reel i can choose the title style so there's templates for everything. I can also choose the font style. So there you see me going through the fonts. To be honest, I kind of like I kind of like this one, so I'm just going to stick to this one. And and I'm going to hit that tick. So there we have it. And if we tap on the screen at the top there, we can always resize the text. So I'm just going to get it a little bit bigger like that. Right, and if you have any images that you want to put in, you can always put it there. But for our purpose, we're just going to keep it simple. There it is. 
so there we have the text yeah that one looks nice so let's see this from start to finish how well it looks Now it's time for my favorite part, exporting the project. When we hit done, this screen will appear. So we have the option of choosing the resolution of the exported video, whether we want it in 720 pixels or 1020, 1080 pixels. Um, I always go with the higher, which is 1080 pixels for a better quality, of course. And it's going to start generating the video. So all the edits that we have just packed in, guys, all of that good stuff is now being put together in a nice video package so that it can be shared, whether it's through social media or with a friend or to your YouTube channel. You know, you can always get that done at the ending. And it's moving very quickly, to be honest with you. It's putting everything together very quickly. So while that is happening, guys, if you're new to the channel, if you don't know what video editing is all about, if you don't know what flying drones and editing drone videos is all about and you want to be a part of that community, we always have more space here in the Jamdong Drones family. Alright, so now I'm going to hit done. And then you'll be taken to this screen. And as you can see, it is showing a couple of my past edits along with the edit that we did today. And it's at the top of our, at the top of our stack. So we can always hit edit. We can always hit the video. And there it is. So if we go back out and then save and exit, let me just save and exit. There we can see what we've done today. So this is the video, guys. This is it right here. I'm just going to play it now. And that's the video guys that's the video that we have created together today so if you like what you saw here today if you have any you know any recommendation any advice you can always drop it in the comment section and don't don't worry guys um, in the next video we're going to be looking at the other features 
of this app because there's a lot more we can do with it guys but for now this is just the beginning until then it's jamdong drones over and out